Hello, everyone. I hope all of you are doing great. Uh, really sorry for uh, delay. Am I absolutely crystal clear? Am I absolutely crystal clear, especially with respect to voice quality? Okay, thank you very much. That's great. Uh, I'm just trying to be the host. That's it. Give me a minute, please. Yeah, I'm the host now. That was the only thing which was making me play. Okay, uh, so where we are. So guys, uh, it's time to start the session. And okay, without any further delay, my name is Ahmed Muntaz. And there is only one thing in my mind, and that is to ensure that both of us, we should have a winning day on 4th September 2023. All the professional papers are on the rise. And now it's time to make sure that we achieve a wonderful result for the September 2023 attempt for the Triple A. Well, right now in front of your screen, you have got a couple of very important numbers. The first number, which ends up with 65, belongs to me. And I am you know, mostly 24 by 7 available on WhatsApp. So you can drop a voice note, you can drop a message and sooner or later I will respond back to you. So if you have got any concerns or queries, you're more than welcome to contact me. The second number belongs to the VIPs admission department. So if you have got any query whatsoever regarding the enrollment or anything else, you are more than welcome to contact them. More importantly, if somebody wants to join the free triple A WhatsApp global group created by WIPI. Well, somebody will post the link within the chat box. Otherwise, you can contact me and I will share the link. So before we move on, a very brief introduction about me. Well, as of now, I'm teaching double A and triple A at WIPI. By the way, WIFI is a gold online ALP, and this recognition is by the ACCA itself, not at the national level, but at a global level. So yeah, WIFI has come a long way, and uh, our lectures, our content, our strategy, our performance is all very, very critically monitored by ACCA, and we are trying to you know, deliver as you know, the highest possible quality and we are trying to make sure we improve session by session. Okay, I've been honored to be part of the ACCA's official practice to pass webinars for both AA and AAA. And overall, my subjects are management accounting, performance management, and more importantly, audit and assurance and advanced audit and assurance. So, Let's move on to the triple A. Well, for triple A, we have got seven areas in the syllabus. The first area is about the consideration of certain laws and regulations which are applicable to your audit client. These are not the laws and regulations which you studied in your FR. These are not the laws and regulations which you studied in your SBAR. These are other laws and regulations such as environmental laws, health and safety laws, and all sorts of important laws and regulations which could create a material impact on the financial statements. More importantly, you got to realize with your common sense, if your audit client is going to make a breach of certain laws and regulations, that company could be facing all sorts of problems. And, you know, the company might have to recognize certain provisions they have to pay certain penalties. In the worst come scenario, their going concern could be at stake. Now, the syllabus area B, which is the most underprepared topic of the AAA student. So if you are going to have an inquiry or if you are going to have a healthy or a constructive discussion with a AAA student who has unfortunately plunked the exam, if you are going to ask him or her, uh, what about at professional and ethical considerations and the actions or the recommendations which you were supposed to give in the exam? Did you attempt that part? 
the student will come up if the student will come up with an honest answer the student will say yes that was in the question that was in the question number 1 that was in the question number 3 as well but uh, well i didn't prepare it so well but i think with the help of my double a knowledge i did it but that's not the case because with the help of your double a you will never be able to replicate what the triple a examiner is looking for now for both these two topics in front of you for a and b we we have explored these topics with the help of live class uh i i will i will guide you how we are going to utilize the technical articles within the live classes and we will relate those technical articles with the past paper question the syllabus area c which is a hot cake for the last one year and it is going to be a hot cake for at least a year or so because there are many many changes within the syllabus area c it's called quality management and practice management so when it comes to quality management there is a trick it could be a hot review it could be a cold review so for if you are evaluating how good or how bad we executed the audit but if you are evaluating the situation before issuing an audit opinion before issuing an audit report that falls under the category of syllabus area c and we call it hot review we call it hot review because we haven't issued the audit report we haven't issued the audit opinion so it's called quality management but there is a very contrast topic to this you know hot review it's called cold review which falls under the syllabus area e which is completion review and reporting so we have to realize there is a difference between hot review and cold review uh the objective behind the hot review and cold review is you know slightly different when it comes to hot review it means Oh, just a minute. Let me move the ball. Okay. So, practice management are those issues. Practice management are those issues which are which a firm has to deal with, and those issues in in uh, includes top of the line tendering, advertising, and there are certain other issues which an audit firm has to consider. But most importantly, tendering is is a is a topic which could be tested in your triple A exam. once we are done with quality management it's about time for the backbone of the triple a syllabus which is planning and conducting an audit of historical financial information and planning and conducting an audit of historical financial information will always be tested within the question number 1 of your exam the question number 1 will always revolve around the uh, planning stage of the audit okay once we are done with the planning planning syllabus area d the syllabus area e is completion review and reporting so once we are almost done with the audit the examiner will give us few situations where we have to review the entire audit where we might have to figure it out there are certain material misstatements which are uh, which needs to be resolved and we might have to consider the impact on the audit report within the audit report uh something which is not part of the double a but it is part of the triple a the examiner could give you a draft audit report and you have to critically evaluate the mistakes which are available in the question which are available in the draft audit report so that's your syllabus area e and then comes almost the last topic syllabus area f almost because there is d as well other assignments or audit related assignments there are six topics within the other assignments these are the assignments which a firm of chartered accountant a firm of auditors will execute or can execute but these are not your typical audit so they are relevant to the audit but they are not exactly audit last but surely not the least you, we need to keep an eye on the technical articles which we will be doing throughout the live classes and current issues and developments we need to keep an eye on the technical article and if we are going to you know cover the technical articles relevant to the current issues and developments we are pretty much prepared for the syllabus area g as well now what about the exam format well the question number 1 we will have total 50 marks out of 50 marks there are four technical marks and there are 10 professional skill marks which is the real game changer we need to score big when it comes to 10 professional marks question number 2 and question number 3 will follow the same pattern 25 marks in total and out of 25 there are 20 technical marks and there are five professional skill marks 
so that makes total 20 professional skill marks which is a blessing for those who are willing to work harder who are willing to make sure that they are going to realize the importance of professional skill from the day one and they are going to practice it and and how to score professional marks it is it has to be your second nature so with the help of live classes we will be covering how to score professional skills marks okay now what about the pass rates of triple a well this is the sad part of the today's session well as the result is just out tax is 56 percent sbr is 51 percent sbl is 51 percent uh fm is touch is i think it's somewhere around 50 percent afm is 47 percent atx is 43 percent so 47 atx 43 sorry 47 A afm 43 atx what about triple a well triple a never crosses the 34 percentage benchmark so you can see uh, 32 32 percent in the march june 2021 followed by 34 34 in the rest of the two attempts of 2021 then 33 percent then 31 percent then september 22 34 then december 2022 32 now what about this year 2023 34 percent in the last attempt march 34 and this year's result is also 34 percent so on an average 34 33 percent is the triple a's global pass rate it used to be 31 32 percent it has jumped a bit after the inclusion of the professional marks the 20 professional marks were incorporated for the first time in september 2022 attempt so you can see there was a jump from 31 to 34 yeah it fell down to 32 but back to 34 and now again 34 which is you know slightly encouraging but if you are going to compare triple a with atx 34 versus 43 if you are going to compare ATH with AFM 34 versus 47, there is a huge gap. And if you are going to compare AAA 34 with SBL and SBR, which is 51% respectively, both of them, well, there is a huge gap. And we have to realize that AAA is not about AA. If you remember things out of your AA, good for you. But we need to realize that for AAA, we need to work harder. And we need to realize, we need to understand what are the different possible questions. We need to understand our role. We need to understand the phase of the audit. Where do we stand? What is today's date? What is expected of us? And more importantly, our answers has to be in depth. The AAA examiner is not looking for quantity. Rather, the AAA examiner is looking for the quality of your answer. So if you are going to identify an issue from the question, you might not be able to score any mark whatsoever. Once you will explain, you will explain a reason. You have to give a reason. The examiner will give you mark. And if you are going to add a further implication, then the examiner will give you full possible credit. So it's about what, why implication approach, which has been reflected in the recent technical articles, which I covered in the live class. And the recording would be definitely available at the WIFI's portal. So yeah, it is scary, but I think the good part is, or the good news is, today is 18th of July. So we have got 13 days left within the July. Then we have got 31 days of August. It means we have got 44 days plus three days of September. So we have got 46, 47 days. So if anyone out there has got more than 40 days, I think you are bound to score big. You are bound to nail the exam and you can do it provided you will follow the instructions. Yes, what, why an implication is a fantastic approach and we will explore past paper questions with this approach. Okay, what about the section A of the exam? Well, the section A of the exam, as we all know, it will have total 50 marks. The question will always be set at the planning stage. Today's date will always be 1st July 20X5. The client's year end will always be after three months. That is 30th September. That's a sure short thing. There will be multiple exhibits available. And within the exhibit number one, there will always be the partner's email to you. And within the email, there will always be the exam requirements. 
And by the way, if you're going to add up those exam requirements, the total marks would be 40 because there are 10 additional professional skills marks. So these are the things which are pretty consistent across all the exam settings. Uh, what about question number one? Well, we all know that within the question number one, the main focus will be on risk. So minimum 20, maximum 26, 28, on an average 24 to 25 marks would be tested out of the risk part, out of the syllabus area D, out of the total 40 marks. So what about the rest of the 10 to 15 marks? Well, ethics could be tested. Some part of quality management could be tested. Laws and regulations or money laundering could be tested. So this is about the syllabus area A, B, C, D. And this is about question number one. What about section B? Well, in the section B, we have got two questions. And now comes the good news. One of the questions within the section B will always focus on completion, review, and reporting. That is your syllabus area E. So I would like to ask a question from all of you right now. What do you think? Uh, well, before I ask the question, what about the other question? Well, most likely the other question will be a blend of the syllabus area B and F. B is ethical and professional issues. F is other assignments. Or it could be that within the, within the other question, it could be syllabus area C, quality management. You never know. Now, guys, I would like to ask a question from you before I move on to the most important part, why students fail AAA exam. What do you think, which is going to be the most well-prepared topic of the students around the globe out of the seven options we have? What do you think? Yes, thank you very much. The syllabus area D and E, and the reasons are quite obvious. Everyone knows that out of the 40 technical marks within the question number one, minimum 20 and most of the times 26, 24 or maybe 28 marks will revolve around business risk and the audit risk. So it means 25. Okay, let's, let's take an average. 25 out of 40 will be covered from the syllabus area D. And I'm not discussing 20 professional marks right now or 10 professional marks right now available in the question number one. And within the section B, there will be a complete full question on completion, review and reporting. So another 20 marks, excluding the five professional marks. So it means all over the world, the students are emphasizing too much on syllabus area D and E, which is great. It's not a bad you know, strategy. In fact, I will teach you how to score the relevant professional marks with respect to the business risk, with respect to the risk of material misstatement. So yeah, how to score, how to score uh, professional marks when you are having a go at the ethical issues. So there are different skills which are aligned with different topics. So you have to be very smart and you have to be focused which skill I need to focus more or I need to focus you know, more when, when we are having a go at the business risk. For example, if you are attempting a question on business risk, the most important, the most important professional skill would be commercial acumen. If you are having a discussion on ethical consideration, I think the most important professional skill would be professional skepticism. So it's, there are techniques available through which we will ensure that we could score 15 or more out of the 20 professional marks. Now, why students fail AAA? That's the most important part of the today's session. Yes, Kareem absolutely nailed it. The one that is guaranteed to come, syllabus area D and E, and that is why everybody is so concerned and so focused on D and E, which is not a bad strategy. But the bad, the worst part is, or the sad part is, if Kareem is going to emphasize too much on D and E, at the compromise and at the expense of, well, I would say PF. What's PF? Let's explore. So why students are failing this exam so much? Well, one of the most common reason, which should not be the case, is poor time management. Well, that's the problem, right? Poor time management. But I would like to know if the students are failing this exam so much because of the poor time management, What's the solution? Is there any solution? Yes, there is a solution 
and the solution is divided into two folds or two parts. Number one, you need to make sure your typing speed is top notch. If your typing speed is not great, you need to invest a couple of hours daily for the next 10 days on a thing called typing.com. Sign up for free, invest two hours per day for the one week or for 10 days, and automatically your typing speed would be so sufficient, in fact, so great that you will end up having five to 10 minutes extra at when you will be attempting your exam on 4th September. Second issue, lack of exam practice on the ACCS practice platform. Never ever attempt anything on paper. Never ever attempt anything on the Microsoft Word. You got to attempt each and every question on the ACCS practice platform. So if there is a particular question which is not available at the practice platform, still you need to open up the blank workspace and you need to split your screen with the exam kit and with the practice platform solve the question on the practice platform, save it and share it with your tutor. That's what we do at the regular batch. So poor typing speed and lack of familiarity, lack of exam practice on the ACCS practice platform, that could create all sorts of problems. Second reason behind such a high failure rate in AAA, majority students will either overcook their answers or they will either undercook their answers. Well, my lectures, my live classes are always focused on exam technique and the marking scheme. So if there are, if there is a question on business risk for eight marks, you know what? The suggested answer available at the back of your exam kit or at the end of your exam kit or at the ACCS website at the official resources that answer would have approximately seven or maybe eight or maybe nine business risks available in the solution. Now, what do you think? How many business risks provided well explained? You need to type, you need to attempt on 4th September 2023 to score full eight marks. Is there anyone who would like to answer this question? So if the question is for eight marks, business risk, how many well explained business risks would do the job? And if I can score eight out of eight. Well done, four. Well done. Four would do the job with 110% accuracy. Why? Because up to two marks are available, provided you will come up with what, why, and implication. So get a business risk out of the question, but that will not give you any mark. But around the globe, students will assume, yeah, they have done it, they have they have produced something very constructive. In fact, some of them will assume we have scored one more. But please realize at the AAA level, if you have extracted a data or a business risk from the question itself, that will not give you any mark. Then you need to explain why you think it's a business risk. So you have to highlight what negative impact it could have, what direct negative impact it could have on the company's profitability or the cash flows or for that matter, how this could create a situation where the company will not be able to achieve its objective. So that's why. Now, that will give you marks. 99% of the failures will stop over here. But the examiner is looking for one more thing, further implication. Additionally, moreover, it could be argued that with the help of such, wo such words, with the help of such phrase, you need to start with one more additional factor, another perspective of the business, another angle, another dimension, add something more and you will get full marks. No, to be, safe, to be on the safe side, I will never ever recommend you to type or attempt five businesses. No, four will do the job. Provided you will understand a technique which is available in the lectures and which we covered in, in a great detail in the in a live class before the result, which is available, you, you haven't missed anything. Don't worry. Instead of at attempting the fifth business list to be on the safe side, instead of doing that, yeah, thank you very much. Instead of doing that, I think we need to make sure without compromising on the quality, we finish the entire paper. So if we are going to finish the entire paper, that makes more sense. That creates tighter chances of, you know, ensuring that we will ace the exam. 
okay so that was the second reason behind the failure but we will cover this reason during the lectures now comes the third reason never ever idealize the ideal answer as i just mentioned in my previous example if i am going to open up the march june 2021 question the question is called pale company and if i am going to explore the answer available on the acca's official resources i will be panicked i will you know i will realize that i will never be able to produce such quality in such depth for two marks the suggested answer has got 10 lines and if i am going to reproduce those lines it might take 15 minutes for one point this is mission impossible and i'm not tom cruise so if we are going to idealize the ideal answer we will never be able to reproduce we will never be able to motivate ourselves now what's the solution are we going to discard the ideal answers are we not even going to read them no you got to extract an attainable answer out of that ideal answer that ideal answer could be squeezed i have to make sure i utilize the professional wording the language or the jargon of the risk of material misstatement the language which is used to criticize an audit report the language which should be used when having a discussion on the ethical and professional issues i should utilize that i should stick with it i should not use my plain normal language which i use in my daily life i need to stick with the jargon which is relevant to a particular topic that can only be possible if we are going to follow the answers available at the acca's website or the past paper answers but we are not going to replicate the exact quantity so idealizing the ideal answer could be demoralizing and it's not required those are ideal answers those answers are are there to facilitate the learning those answers are never meant to be you know exactly replicated during a student's final exam so why triple a has got such a high failure rate everyone around the globe will be preparing syllabus area d and e there is no doubt about it as we had a discussion on that as well but you know what all over the world the students tend to ignore the syllabus area b which is about ethics why they wrongly believe that they are well prepared for ethics because they studied that topic in double a you studied nothing at double a at double a you are not supposed to have a discussion at triple a you need to go into the depth so for example oh well i'll show you an example with respect to give me a minute please so this is your google search engine just type triple a technical articles okay triple a technical articles the technical articles are all divided as per the study guide so let's go to the professional and ethical considerations here is an article ethics in the triple a exam okay ethics in the triple a exam now if you are answering an ethics question at the triple a level you have to identify the ethical issue from the question and the student will wrongly believe that he has done a a tremendous job and that will score a lot of marks but that's not the case then you have to evaluate you have to explain how this will create an ethical issue and then you need to apply the knowledge so for example for example the audit committee of mumbai company has asked a partner to consider whether it would be possible for the audit team to perform a review of the company's internal control systems audit committee has asked the audit firm is it possible for you for the audit team to perform a review of the company's internal control system okay a number of recent incidents have raised concern among the management team that the controls have deteriorated and this has increased the risk of fraud as well as inefficient commercial practices the auditor's report for the audit of the financial statements of mumbai company for the year ended 31st march 20x5 was signed a few weeks ago this is a listed company now there are six marks and if i am an ordinary student and if i am assuming that double a will do the job i will say well this will create self review threat and uh, well i will say the audit committee of mumbai company has asked the partner to consider whether it would be possible for the audit team to perform a review of the company's internal control system 
if you are extracting all the information from the question, you will not get any mark for that. So how would you, you know, come up with an answer? This is going to create a self-review thread and may possibly lead to assuming a management responsibility. So this identification is the first step. Once you have expressed this in your answer, this is the first step. You have now finally identified the ethical issues. And this alone will score minimal marks. If you are going to copy all that from the question, you will get no marks whatsoever. But once you highlight it that this is going to create self review and a possibility of management threat, assuming a management responsibility, this will score minimal marks. But candidates should be aiming to demonstrate they understand how the issue has arisen and what in the implication of that threat may be. So you need to explain more. You know, how you can score full mark or you, how can you score extra mark? Providing a review of the company system and control give rise to a self reuse thread as these controls will then be reviewed by the firm. The firm will design and implement the system. And then as part of the audit, as part of the audit strategy, we will be reviewing their system. So the audit firm will be reluctant to highlight the errors and they will adopt a substantive approach during the audit. Why they will apply substantive approach? Because they will not apply test of controls because they don't wish to identify the, uh, the deficiencies within the controls because they are the ones who implemented the control system. So that will give, because the auditor will not be, you know, testing the controls because they designed and implemented th that. So this will give you further mark. The design of systems and control is a management responsibility. Who should design and implement the internal control system? Management. So if we are going to perform such task, task, it means we are assuming a management responsibility by taking on the role of the management. That will give another one mark. The candidate, the court said that the threat to independence of undertaking management responsibility for an audit client is so significant that there are no safeguards which can reduce the threat to an acceptable level. So assuming a management responsibility is such a significant threat that no safeguard is available. So this will give you another one mark. So you have to realize that how important it is to read the you know, technical articles. And once you will read the technical articles, okay, let's go to the practice platform. So this is your triple A specimen exam. So as usual, the Today's date will always be 1st July. The year end will always be 30th September 20X5. And this is a listed entity as well. Now, what about the exhibit number one? Okay. Evaluate the matters to be considered. I'm reading the exam requirement C. Evaluate the matters to be considered in deciding whether the audit firm should accept the engagement to provide advice on the group social and environmental information. Using exhibit number four, we need to evaluate the matters to be considered in deciding whether the firm should accept the engagement to provide advice on the group's social and environmental information. The student will realize it's a question on social and environmental information. But guess what? You need to consider the ethical issues. If the audit firm is going to provide advice, that would create what? Self-review threat. That would create assuming a management responsibility. That could also create a self-interest threat. So the importance of technical article and then relating those technical articles with the past papers is extremely important. So the group's request for the audit firm to advise management on its social and environmental reporting creates ethical threat to objectivity. And if we are going to provide additional non-audit service to an audit client, that will create several ethical issues. What ethical issues? Well, for example, this will create what? This will create self-review threat. A self-review threat could arise if the audit firm provides the service to the group. Some of the social and environmental information could be related to the transactions. So if we are going to involve in a situation where we are, you know, auditing a certain part of the financial statement, which we prepared, we advised on, that will create self-review threat. So similarly, that social environmental information will be part of the other information. 
and as an auditor we need to read the other information in accordance with is 720 so so and that will also create self interest threat there is a tight deadline which also creates a limitation on scope so how you should approach triple a you need to read the technical articles the technical articles are extremely important and then i will guide you how a particular technical article has got to do with a particular question so that should be your approach so let's finish this part why student fail well we are not going to ignore syllabus area b and f uh you have to make sure you at attempt at least three mock exams and you have to make sure your mock exams will be marked and your mock exam will be marked by me personally provided you will attempt the mock exam on the specified date date and that specified date has to be when when are we going to have the final mock exam your final exam is on 4th september so you have to minus at least 8 days 9 days so approximately your final mock exam would be somewhere around 24th max 25th august max and uh, your grand revision will be somewhere around 17th 16th august so that's the plan before that we will be able to finish off the course i've made a plan the planner document will be shared in your whatsapp group and you have to follow that planner document one of the most important reason behind the triple a failure is students are not good at the accounting standard how can you make sure you are damn good when it comes to your accounting standards you have to prepare your own notes for the international accounting standards and for the international financial reporting standards i will guide you and i will teach you how to create your own notes don't check out don't check out your fr book don't check out your sbr book we will extract the accounting related issues from the past paper answers from the exam kit and we will create our own notes for the ias and ifrs i have those notes i can share those notes in a minute with you but i will guide you and i will teach you and i will make you create your own notes and will when we you will create your own notes it will give you a boost of at least 15 marks the syllabus area d and e which is the most well prepared topic around the globe it has got out of 50 marks it has got 10 to 15 marks relevant to ias and ifrs so just realize the importance of preparing your own notes make sure your mock exam is marked by an expert tutor i will mark your mock exam so you don't have to worry about it and so far those students who are going to join now uh well so far we are already done with four to five live classes and in the live classes we have covered uh a lot of technical articles as well but those live classes are you know always recorded so out of the syllabus area a technical article laws and regulation we covered that we had a discussion on money laundering as well we even explored a past paper question on that so we had a class on uh, i think we need to have a class on ethical issues i, I don't exactly remember and we need, we had live class on quality management in fact we had two live classes on quality management one of them is also available on youtube then we had a wonderful class in which we learned how to approach the section a question and how to approach the business risk question and how to approach the risk of material misstatement and the audit risk question so if somebody is done with these three articles we did that in a live class so you will automatically be damn good in question number 1 and you will also be able to identify well all those live classes and all those technical articles actually covered the professional skills as well we are going to have a discussion on group audits in the next live class so this is it it is not a mission impossible fr aa fbr and aaa these are the backbones in the life of the chartered accountant when when i say chartered accountant it means compliance so you should not avoid aaa aaa and sbr are the most important exams of you know out of the entire acca you should feel optimistic about it you should feel you, you know you should be happy about the fact that you are somewhere around aaa you should thank god that you are on the verge of the qualification you're almost there 
you have to make sure that the next 45 47 days are going to be the best days of your life you will be part of a very interactive whatsapp group you will have all the support and now if you have got any concerns or questions you are more than welcome please raise your question uh is there any changes or additional syllabus so there is no yes you should use the book as well in fact i have extracted all the data from the acca study hub and i've just shared just before starting this class i shared that uh you know that extremely important and valuable file in the in the whatsapp group so i will karima i will share it with you as well so that study hub all that notes are very valuable very important you should start you should read the book very thoroughly for the syllabus area f which is other assignment six there are six other assignments you need to prepare those six topics from uh, from those six chapters available in your study text any other question from anyone no you should not use the bpp book because bpp book is going to eat up all your time and energy and you will not be able to practice questions rather than focusing more on reading the study text now i think you need to skim the study text you need to focus very much on the study text for the syllabus area f otherwise i will share the notes my notes which are aligned with the lectures and i will share the notes which are uh, uh, out of the acca's study hub and that will do the job is there any planner or road map that we should follow for the next 45 days yes there is a planner for the research students and that planner will be shared within the whatsapp group after couple of hours maybe they have already shared it uh is there anything new thing for september 23 that was not in june no not really no change in the study guide yes i will share the book and kit don't worry so thank you very much guys if you still have got any concerns or queries you have got couple of very important numbers so this 065 belongs to me you can contact me through whatsapp and the second number is wifi's number and they will uh uh you, you can contact them if you want to enroll in the reset batch by the way the regular batch and the reset batch are exactly the same the the reset batch and the regular batch are exactly the same same lectures same classes same tutors same mock exams same grand revision same mock debrief same live classes now if you have missed four live classes we had four live classes so far those live classes will be available to you within your portal as a recorded class because they are always recorded yes uh last time grand revision and mock debrief were merged into one so we can have a separate grand revision don't worry now if you have got any other concerns relevant to the enrollment uh well you need to contact the admission department thank you very much guys thank you for tuning in stay blessed stay aggressive 45 days and we can nail triple a yes we can thank you no there is no change in marking scheme not at all Thank you everyone thank you very much